Hi, this is Amy with Wall Mommy Scrapping, and today I have a brand new scrapbook.com order that just arrived this morning, so I thought I would share it with you. Let's get started. I realize it's been quite a while since I have filmed the video. I think I will film one separately, kind of explaining what's been going on in my life, but right now, let's focus on the fun scrappy supplies. I have a whole bunch of embellishments I'll go through in a minute. Now let's look at the paper first. Um, FYI has scrapbook.com been wrapping their paper like this for a while. Bought a whole bunch of loose paper and I love how protective that is. Two sheets of card or of, uh, chipboard and often saran wrapped. So here are the paper packs I got. And I do have some duplicate sheets in that big stack. Um, I got the Doodlebug Special Delivery Petite Print Assortment. I just love getting the Doodlebug Petite Print Packs anyways because they're great basics to have, but for in this case, I bought this one specifically because I thought I could use some of it with this collection, Our Baby Boy by Echo Park. My sister just recently gave birth to a child. His name is Jimmy, and he is he's my godson. So in a couple months, I actually get to go back home and um, get to go to his baptism and officially become his godmother so I have a ton of pictures I was there when he was born I got to surprise her and that's a whole story I want to be able to include so I had a lot of fun buying a lot of baby boy supplies because I I do have some boy supplies not so much baby boy but I know with Elizabeth I didn't really care if it was boy or girl because she was just all over everywhere but I love this collection and I went and I sent it to my sister and I was like which of these do you like the best and she liked this one she loved the like the kind of boho feel and then um, she loved the rainbows that are in here because little Jimmy's a rainbow baby and we absolutely, he makes him even more special. And then I went ahead and picked up their solid paper pack just to make sure I had some matching solids because I know I will want some solids in there at some point. All right, let's open this up. And again, I love this. I know Cherry on Top puts theirs in like a large... Ziploc bag and tapes it to cardboard and that protects it too. But something about this, knowing that they've <laughs> shrink wrapped it just for me is like, wow, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get this first one off. All right, starting at the top with Bow Bunny. I have not purchased a lot of Bow Bunny in quite excuse me, quite a long time. Um, I loved their aesthetic a long time ago. And then when I say a long time ago, I mean like pre Mamarazzi stuff. When the Mamarazzi line and some other stuff came out around then, it started getting very antique -y. This itself, not me at all. But their Brighton collection, a lot of the B-sides, this is beautiful, like a, a grayish cream with periwinkle. It reminds me of wallpaper, to be honest. But this, to me, huge basic gray vibe. I can totally see me working with this. So you're going to see a lot of Brighton in here, mostly for B-sides. So here's this one. We have this tone-on-tone -tone gray. This one's a tone-on-tone -tone pink. I mean, tone-on-tone, -tone. hello. This, I love this side because this is this, these kinds of patterns I like. Love this side too. This I don't know if I would call it necessarily mint, a dark mint maybe? I don't know, pretty green though. Uh, adore this with the cut-aparts because there are things in here. These, this is very like antique looking and not really my scrappy aesthetic, but I do love it and I like, um, for like art journaling and stuff, I like to include things like that. And there's plenty of other stuff that is bright enough that I would use anyways. And the other side, lovely, lovely, lovely um, gingham green, reminds me of a tablecloth. Another one that's kind of wallpaper-like and a tone on tone pink on the back. And there's going to be more Brighton in here later on. I know that for sure. Let's flip this around so that the uh, strips from the right spot. These are all things that go with the Baby Boy line from Echo Park. This I bought because I figured I would want to use cut aparts and I like that other side too. So I'm going to take the Baby Boy stuff and set it over with the other Baby Boy paper and we're back to Brighton so let's flip it again. That's going to be fun to do. Like this side and that's the oh, I didn't. I only bought one. This side's a, a greeny yellow 
kind of like a citrus it's almost like a citrus uh, yellow with a little bit of lime thrown in love this with the aqua and you get that same tiny little flower print little flower sprigs with the lime this I would use although I don't think I bought it for that particular side this would be great I would not use this in large amounts but this would be great for matting photos because a little bit of pink showing at the edge this reminds me of pajamas <laughs> I love this periwinkle color that they have in this collection. This kind of paper like this is like what made me like go, oh my gosh, I need some Bow Bunny. I bought two of these. There was one sheet in here I might have even purchased three of. I loved both of these sides. This side, totally me. This side, totally me. Very excited to be playing around with this collection. Here's another one from Brighton with this pinky peach. Uh, tone on tone and then a lovely green tone on tone with some mint squares at the on the back and if I look at this it kind of it starts doing those weird optical illusion things all right more baby boy we have some peachy orange hearts I got two of those because it has a plaid on the back I love plaid and then we're back to Brighton again kind of wondering how they pulled all this <laughs> Is it like buy how it's listed in my order or you know oh, so diagonal plaid I honestly am surprised I didn't pick up two of these a diagonal plaid I quite like but I also do like this darker teal turquoise on the back gorgeous this I wish I had gotten another one of too now that I see it in person the tone on tone dark blue and then you have the light blue with the kind of gray beige background this ledger paper this is not my favorite side. I don't particularly like it. I did, believe it or not, buy it for this side, not to use this 12 by 12, but to be able to cut up and use for journaling pieces. This one, another one that I was just like, oh. See, I got two of them. And then we have the lovely little dots, little Swiss dots on the other side. And here we've got some more baby. This one I got a number of because I love stars. So I would use this even not in a baby collection. And I'll probably want to potentially cut up one of the, the one of these cut kind of parts and use those. Not, we've got the oh, I've got three of these. I didn't realize I got three of these. Um, we have the brown arrows. Oh, and because it's got stars on it, that's why I got three of them. I would probably use the brown with the arrows to map photos, but this I would use in larger pieces. We picked up some petite prints specifically to match in that collection because, I mean, that actually, that works decently well together. Oh, yeah, especially when it's not a solid brown. All right, here's another one, the little mint di diagonal kind of chevron stripe. And then the other side's a cut apart. Uh, this is Simple Stories. So my hip kit this month came with some Simple stories simple vintage life in bloom and i love that i didn't like the entire collection but i did pick up a couple different random pieces kind of to add into my hip kit i haven't used it but one of them is this yellow one and it has the blue on the back this is their their solid they call it teal and daffodil but this again is one that i could put up in my basics box and just use for any collection we have more of baby boy with the peach uh, small dots and then it's got a space print on the other side not particularly in love with this although it has star I mean I love the things on this I love space stuff I love stars and moons and all that but I don't know I'm not feeling it I do like this all right so that aside we're back to Brighton this one looks like a table runner to me I could need to have it down the middle of my dining room table this side lovely celery green we have more of the life in bloom. This one's called Make Time. It's black with rainbow polka dots, which is like another thing I love. And then this side, all tickets. So I honestly kind of want to go get another one of these so I can use, I can have one to cut up all the tickets and the other I could have, as, I could either do two page spread or just have multiple pages of the black with the polka dots but i love the colors in this like this color scheme it's too vintagey overall for me though more baby boy we've got little sunshines and then the little banners on the back i thought about cutting those out and then we're back to brighton 
just collections all over the place, this stack of paper. Um, the flowers, and then the other side is a very pale grayish beige Swiss dot. I don't even know if you can see that so much on the screen. Cut apart. Don't like tags, but I do like cut aparts. I love this because some of these I would like this one. Great. That one. Yes. This one. No, but the reverse of them all have just plain tags. And these are ones I can easily cover this up or just chop off the top. Another one that I bet I bought not because of the print, but because it's grid. Oh, actually, I probably bought it for this side. Look at this side. Oh, this is a gorgeous blue. Collection of happy memories. This would be nice to put in a memory book. Maybe you can put that on a title page or on the cover of the memory book. And we have this pink on pink tone. And then, I was going to say, I think I bought two of these because I would definitely cut apart all of these strips. But we have beautiful the most beautiful shade of purple on the back and that brings me to the end of all of the papers so I did purchase quite a lot I don't think I got every page of Brighton but I did get a significant chunk of it I mean that's there we go, let's do it like that. flipping through it and looking at these sides totally a hundred percent me if I flip through it the other way, I look at it and I'm like, um, not so much. I mean, I like them, I like a lot of them, but not all of them. This was not a collection that wowed me at the beginning, but uh, did once I actually got to see individual pieces. All right, so let's open this up. One thing, one thing I love about scrapbook.com is that you can pick up a free copy of scrapbook and cards today. I would love to get published in this magazine one day. One day. One day. Can't wait to look through that. All right. So now we get to embellishments. This was a free sticker set. This is one of scrapbook.com stickers. I don't think I have used their flat stickers like this before. So I'm excited to give it a try. Um, and they're white, so I can always color them too if I want to. They're just regular, um, like, they're not like cardstock, cardstock, but it's heavier than just regular paper stickers, I think. That's what it feels like to me, at least. I'm so excited about this. I love sticker books. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to just buy all the sticker books because there's always, there's always something in them you can use. I have a collection of sticker books I keep at my table specifically to use, um, to pull out to use it for random layouts. But I knew I'd be able to use some of this for other things besides him, and I have a feeling, oh, I got a little stickers there too. I have a feeling too that I will end up making pages to give to his parents. So having more stickers, <laughs> the more stickers, the better. Got some letter stickers, got some strips, more icons. Are these the same? Is this like a repeat of this? Yes, so you have the these pages again. Ah, so you get two of each page. That's interesting. So you reverse for sticker details. Okay, I didn't realize you guys would get two of each 16 pages and there's eight shown. That's pretty cool. I want to get some of the Echo Park uh, Disney sticker books too. All right, so I have not jumped on the turnabout stamp um, craze that seems to be around right now. I've wanted to, but I haven't seen any that I particularly like. This, though, makes a nice wonky plaid, and I, I do like wonky plaids. This, I can control the colors. I could use it for card making. I can use it to make things to map photos with. Um, so I figured, you know what? Let me just give it a try. And I liked the other stamps that come with it, too. So we will see about that. All right, let's see. We've got more baby boy stuff. I don't have too many embellishments today. I did pick up the adhesive brads. Not something I normally get. Although I'm going to tell you something right now that is a little on, on the annoying side. This is more of a warmer white. I'd almost call it cream. And then the white in here is actually like white, like around the chipboard. It's an interesting choice. Same thing here. Hmm. To see how that looks on paper together. But I figured, you know what? Let's add these in. I like the texture it adds. A little bit of sparkle. And it's something I don't normally use. And then 
it had in stock the frames and tags. They did not have the other ephemera pack they normally have with their things in stock, which is why I got this one instead. New Kid in Town, Lookout World, here I come. This is a frame, and then so you can detach that part. Hello, baby boy, little love. Love you so much. Sweet tiny human. Oh my gosh, and he is the sweetest tiny, tiny human. You're going to see a lot of him. Our little prince. Not sure about that tag. But what I could do also is cover the words up with something else. Layers, see? Look at that. Layering things. It's amazing. Nailing all the milestones. Always growing out of this world. Got some letters. Welcome, baby. Brand new, you are a gift from heaven. Oh, ain't that the truth? This is another one where you can punch out the inner part and have a frame lift. How lucky I am to have a soul so precious to love with, to love with my whole heart. And that is the dang truth for that sweet kid. Uh, precious boy, we got a baby bottle. You are my sunshine. B is for baby. I like it's B is for baby and not B is for boy. That's good. He is small but mighty. You are my greatest adventure. That one would have to be one, I think, to go on his parents because I think Elizabeth is my greatest adventure right now. I got a pacifier, a teeny tiny rocket ship, and planet. I've been waiting so long to meet you. That is the truth as well. And another one where you can punch it out in frame. And it's, oh, you are more precious than I ever dreamed, sweeter than I ever imagined, and a bigger gift than I ever hoped to receive. And I, I think those sentiments. I think except for that little prince one, I can see myself. Oh, this one says one little boy, so many toys. Boy, and they grow up and it just gets worse, doesn't it? <laughs> My husband's currently playing with his new toy. I'm trying to get his new 3D printer working. Okay, I can't. I just did my nails and these things are sticking to the silicone mat. And I'm like, I can't pick them up. All right, so all of this is so Ooh. Oh, these are just some of the little ones in there. Okay, got that up. I'm just going to set that aside. I then have the sticker book from Brighton, which I don't have to open. The pages are all flippable. I haven't decided if I like this kind. I think I'm more like I enjoy these. Is this I either have to, I have to like take the plastic off of each page and, or open and close it every time. kind of drives me crazy. A lot of this, like I looked at this cover one and I was like, yeah these and but then the pages inside are by color and i'm like okay now you won me over you have sorted a bunch of embellishments by color sign me up i was really hoping they would have a purple page though sadly they don't but that's all right we've got months we've got some gold foiling in there that's really nice i'm not i don't regret getting this and this is one of those things where i wasn't sure about it or not but I decided to go ahead and get it I love chipboard frames I know a lot of people are kind of iffy about them I quite like them and these the colors of this collection I like a lot and I think will mix with um what is this one the 49 and market stuff so I think I can get some use with their things as well so we have just a variety of frames take the photo what does this one say this is your time. The oval ones I'm a little, little less sure about. I don't tend to do a lot of oval photos. This would be easier to trim the photo though to match it. Like here's a photo of my husband and daughter. I could easily trim that. I mean, obviously I wouldn't put that kind of picture in there, but this one I think would be a little harder to do because you don't have as much border, but that's just me. We'll see. I like that. I like this one. And we could cut out some more of those tickets and then build up some actual, like, pop it up and pop dots and have some three-dimensional layers. And this one, you could hold it that way or that way. Either of those works, I think. Yeah. Oh, we got some small words in there, but I don't think that would matter. So, there we go. That is what I have recently picked up from scrapbook.com. I already have my cart full of a whole bunch of other things I've been thinking about. Still debating back and forth. Let me know your opinion on buying a foiling system like the hot foil stuff i have my um gemini and they have the 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 
creative creator crafters companion one fits in the Gemini Junior, but they have an, a little twenty dollar attachment you can buy on to attach it to. Uh, so the sensors for the larger Gemini, the regular size one, will pick it up. So I'm thinking about getting that. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. So let me know what your opinion is on that. All right. Do you like any of these things? Are you, what are you currently using and what would you like to see me use? I would like to get back to doing more videos for you guys. Um, I'd like to do kind of a mix of some process videos and then some educational stuff. Um, things that are how I do things or why I do things. So if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about that you see me do on the channel, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that loveliness or not. It's up to you. And I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.